casinos don't fix the games in, in case that's what you're thinking that's not how they make money they don't need to fix the games all they need to do to make money is to keep you playing that's it that's all they have to do they just have to keep you playing the games no matter what games you play as long as you keep playing the casino stays in business and that's because they have an edge it's what it's called um, the house edge that little house edge for example uh, I'm sure you're familiar with a roulette wheel, or if you're not, um, it, it's that game where you have a ball and you throw it into the center of the wheel and the ball goes round the wheel and the wheel has lots of numbers like whatever, five or ten, all the way around and whichever number the ball stops in, that person depending on how they placed their chips before the ball was thrown, wins some money. That roulette wheel has uh, 35, well, it has 35 numbers in some forms of the wheel. Well, let's not get too complicated. But it, it also has one number, zero. So in other words, if this ball lands in in any of the other 35 numbers, so the numbers are sort of jumbled up, so you might have number 34 here and number 12 here. If the ball lands in any of those, somebody wins, assuming they bet on that number. But if the ball lands on zero, the casino wins. Whatever money was put on that roulette spin, the casino wins. That's called the house edge. And the same thing happens with fruit machines and gambling machines that you see in the casinos. That edge is tiny, absolutely tiny. So when people play the games, they know this edge exists. One out of 36, really, is, is the casino's chance of uh, losing or, or, or winning anything. And yet that tiny little edge adds up enormously. That is how casinos win. So what happens is, I promise I will come back to the subject of this webinar soon, but I just need to explain this because it is actually relevant to manifesting as well. So, so let's consider we have money and we have time and we're in a casino and we're playing against the casino's edge. Now, over the long term, we know so, so this is the casino's money. And over the long term, we know the casino, the laws of probability are, are going to say that the casino is gradually going to win over time. But, and, and that's kind of how the graph looks if you look at it over time. The casino is going to get everybody's money over time. That's a guarantee. However, something very interesting goes on just at this point here where the money has just been put on for the first time. So, so let me expand this box out just so you can see what's going on. So imagine that that box is, is this box. And uh, imagine that the, the blue line, let's draw it in there. So imagine that, that this blue line just here represents this bit here. And this blue line here represents this bit here. And what I'm trying to show you is what happens with this little red squiggle down here, just as we're starting off. What happens is that there is a bit of instability. This is really, really interesting. And this is how you're going to beat the casinos, people. So listen, there's a bit of instability until the laws of probability start to kick in. So this point here is where the laws of probability start to kick in. So that's equivalent to this point here. So, for example, if, if you tossed a coin and it had a head side and a tail side, over a long period of time, heads would come up the same number of times as tails. So say you tossed it a thousand times, 500 times heads would probably come up, 500 times tails would come up. But during the first few throws, 
it's quite possible that the laws of probability don't really apply because the laws of probability only kick in over a time period. So it could be that, say, on the first throw of a ball on the roulette wheel, um, you get some unexpected results. So you might get somebody winning a lot of money there. So the house has lost money. That's why I'm showing the red line below there. And then maybe the house wins there and then maybe somebody else wins there and then the house wins there and then somebody else wins there but then over time as you throw the ball more and more on the roulette wheel the probability kicks in and then we get this line what this means in other words for example if i took a coin and just tossed it 10 times you may even get 10 heads in a row or you may get 10 tails in a row it's what's known as an aberrant run not even sure if I'm spelling this correctly, uh, an aberrant run. So you might get 10 heads in a row, and yet over the long term, you will almost definitely get 500 heads and 500 tails if with a 1,000 throws. So this, this little box here is how you beat the casinos because the casino is gambling on the fact that you are going to play longer and longer and the house edge is going to kick in, but at this point here, they have no control. If you were to bet really big, if you were to bet really big and you were to strike it lucky just at this point and you were to walk away, not put that money back in, so in other words, not to allow the house edge to kick in, you would beat the casino. Okay? <laughs> every time you would beat them every time if you walked away now you obviously you need the luck of um getting that first hit but if you just bet everything on black or everything on red if you're playing roulette you have a 50 50 chance so you have a 50 percent chance of losing everything but you also have a 50 percent chance of doubling what you've got and then you walk away. Whereas if you continue to play, you have a 100% chance of losing everything. So this little thing here, this house edge is negated by the fact of this little box here. This is how you beat casinos. Now, why, am, why on earth am I giving you a lecture in statistics and probability? What on earth has this got to do with manifesting and almost anything else it's because not only does the casino have an edge but ladies and gentlemen you have an edge the universe is skewed in your favor if you keep playing the game of manifesting you become the casino okay let me say that again if you keep playing over the long run this is how your edge is going to be you are going to win the only way that you lose is if you give up at this point here if you see life turn against you in this little blip this aberrant run if you give up at that point you don't allow your own edge to kick in you yourself have thrown away what would guarantee you a hundred percent victory or profit or whatever you consider your manifesting to be that's a really interesting point don't you think you see most people they want results really quickly and they will jump straight to powerful positive emotions they'll try and manifest all that stuff as soon as possible because they want their stuff as soon as possible and what happens at this point here quite likely is we get the idea of all hell breaking loose so in other words your own manifesting edge has not kicked in yet you've not given it enough time but you have got so fixated on the little box down here 
and all hell has broken loose in your life, that you have quit too early. And that's because you've pushed too hard. If you had just chosen the path of neutrality, chosen the path of just taking it easy, so much would have changed without any effort.